This video will be a quick guide into a few different strategies to divide numbers. There's a little bit of vocabulary that we need to know as we work with division problems. Every division problem has three parts. The dividend is the number that goes under the house in the standard algorithm. It is the number that's being divided up into smaller pieces. The divisor on the outside is how many parts that dividend is being split into. And finally, the number on top is our quotient. That's the answer to our division problem. So I'm going to show you two uh, strategies you can use to divide, starting with the division algorithm. Remember, algorithm means the series of steps. Some people call this the house method. There is a little silly phrase that you see on this screen that helps me remember the steps for a division problem. That phrase is, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? And the first letter of that phrase helps me remember all the steps that I need to take. Step number one when working with this kind of problem is to divide. I am looking to see what can my divisor fit into. So I start by thinking 4 divided by 14. No, that's not going to work because 4 is smaller than 14. So I need to extend this a little bit. 43 divided by 14. That's big enough. So how many times can, 40, can 14 fit into 43? Let's try three times. I put that on the top of my house. Then I multiply three times 14. Multiply is step two. So I multiply my three times 14 to get 42. Step number three of this process is to subtract. I subtract 43 minus 42 gives me one. I check. This check step means make sure that your number that's underneath your subtraction is smaller than your divisor. If it's not smaller than your divisor, that means you didn't choose a big enough number on the top. And we need to increase that number we multiplied by. But when I check in this problem, 1 is smaller than 14. So I'm good to continue. My next step, B, is bring down. I bring down the next number that's ready to be divided. And then I go back up to the top here and I start this process over. I divide 14 divided by 14. Oh, well, I think that is 1. I'll put it up top. I multiply. 1 times 14 is 14. Write it underneath. I subtract. 14 minus 14 equals 0. And, whoops, kind of a crazy 0. I check. 0 is definitely less than 14. And there's nothing else to bring down. So 31 is my quotient. So that is the division algorithm. There's another method that you can use to divide is the area model of division. This way is not everybody's favorite method, but for some it makes more sense than using the algorithm. I encourage you, though our lessons will show both, to use the method that works best for you. So let's check this one out. A toy factory made 4,536 toy blocks in 14 hours. How many toy blocks did the factory make each hour? So we're doing the division problem 4,536 divided by 14. It's a big division problem. And the steps of creating an area model are very much the same as the steps for your algorithm. Just instead of writing them underneath the house, you write them in a box. So when we're setting up an area model, we put our divisor over on the left hand side. And our first step is to think 14 times what number, I'm going to put blue right underneath that 300 there. We think 14 times what number, what multiple of 100 is going to get me close to 4,536 without going over. Well, just like when we divided with our algorithm, we guessed 3 for our first digit. Well, we see that it's about 300 for this step. 
So we multiply together 14 times 300 and get 4,200. That goes inside of our box. So that gets me close to 4,536. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting close. And I subtract to figure out how much do I have left. Okay, I have 336 left. So I'm going to go to the next spot in my area model to figure out. The next step is going to be to think 14 times what multiple of 10 this time. I'm going to underline that we're working with multiples of 10 next. That gets me close to 336 without going over. Well, the closest is going to be 20. 14 times 20 equals 280. So I know I was trying to get up to 336. I'm not there exactly. So I'm going to subtract 336 minus the 280 that I have in my model and see that I have 56 left. I need to figure out one more of those partial products to get me to 56. So this time I think, what multiple of one? Can I multiply times 14, my divisor over here on the side, to get me closest to 56 without going over? Well, that's four, because four times 14 equals 56. So the quotient of this area model will be the length or the top part of my rectangle. I add those three things together. I add my 300 plus 20 plus four to get 324 as my final answer. If I were to add up my numbers inside the box, I would get my dividend, 4,536. So the area model is more about using multiplication facts and chunking that division problem into smaller pieces. But the partial products do end up being very similar to the division algorithm steps. So I know that was a fast video going over two fairly complicated methods, but we will be practicing this often in class and I will have more resources for you to help out along the way. Thanks, fifth grade.